What's going on? It's your boy Lazy Lightsaber back at it again for another video. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, my peeps, my familia, happy to see you here today. Well, we're making a part two to the original video that I made on YouTube called Nintendo Switch versus Mobile. I've gotten a lot of comments and a lot of feedback in, about this video. I actually released it October 17th of 2019. So it's been a full two years. Um, maybe not a full, maybe we're a couple of months shy, but it's pretty much two years since I released this video. And um, well, I got a lot of different, you know, responses regarding this video. Um, it was kind of split. I had a group of people that were convinced that the Switch is, yes, yeah, superior. I was right the whole time. Um, versus uh, um, any type of cell phone or cell phone game or, or, or games that come out on mobile devices, period. And then there were another subset of group that thought that, no, maybe I'm being too harsh on mobile gaming. But then later, as the years moved forward, a lot of people came out and say, well, your video, yes, it was made a long time ago. So with today's standards, it would be completely wrong. So was my video wrong? Is my video, is my current point of view now changed from when I originally made this video? Has anything for me changed as far as how I view Nintendo Switch versus mobile today? So let's get into that video now. Let's roll the intro. <laughs> All right, so you're back now. You're seated, booted, ready to go. You got your drink in hand, getting ready to dive into this video today. So, is the Nintendo Switch now inferior to mobile gaming? Have cell phones finally come to a level where they can play decent games like Genshin Impact? That's one game that a lot of people haven't bring to my attention. Hey, Lazy, you're not talking about this game on Switch. Yeah, it's on uh, 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 PS4 now. Um, not on Switch, it's on PS... Is it on Switch? It may, may be on Switch now, but it's on PS4 and it's on mobile gaming. And they're like, oh, this is a great cell phone game. Cell phone specs are higher now, higher than the Switch. So that must mean that by default, the Switch is inferior to the cell phone. Uh, Gameplay-wise, game-wise, game selection-wise, the whole shebang. That is not true. A a because if you're talking about that, then basically um everything that came out on the 3DS was hot garbage, right? Because they have lower specs in cell phones and the Switch, so you can't say that at the time. It was hot. It's still hot. It still has some great games. Same thing now. The Switch is still hot currently. 90 million sold. And we're not going to discuss numbers here because that just, that doesn't matter. What matters is how good these games are and how far we've progressed. All right. So um, another comment that was brought to my attention was Modern Warfare for the cell phones. Call of Duty, right? That whole thing that got fixed and now the game works and runs really good. That may be so, since I played that game, which is another video I gotta go back to, but it was choppy. It was um, one of the worst games I've ever played. Uh, not because it didn't have a potential to be good, just the game stuttered, it's lagged, it, it was horrible. I have a video about that on my channel. It's one of my most popular videos as well. Go take a look at that one and tell me what you think. Um, and uh, yeah, it just never worked for me. And they're like, well, you never revisited it. So you're not giving kind of, you know, mobile gaming a chance anymore. You're just closing your mind and saying, basically, the Switch kind of took the cake. Yeah, the Switch did take the cake. And in my opinion, it currently still dominates. So there's your answer to what you were looking for. Do I still think that the Switch dominates over cell phone? Absolutely. There's not even, there's, I yes, I have hair. There's not even a, a discussion about that. There's, there's there's no switch and mobile. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter how many specs a cell phone gets. It's still a cell phone. And it's still held back by its physical form. Touch screen buttons are not going to work. And you can say, well, that's not part of the graphics. No, it's not part of the graphics. But it's part of the gameplay. And gameplay is what counts here. Even if you have the best graphics, you can have the the most graphically best game ever that looks freaking amazing. But if your gameplay sucks, nobody is gonna buy your game. Doesn't matter how good it looks. 
doesn't matter how good it looks. If the gameplay sucks, it sucks. Plain and simple. Nobody's going to come to you. So just because you have the best specs doesn't mean you have the best games. Could it coincide where both of them come together? Like you have a system that's beastly, great specs, and great games? Of course, it's been done before and it can be done again. Is cell phone there now? Is your current Samsung Note? What are they, 16, 15, 19? I don't even, it can't keep up with how many notes there are, right? Your Samsung Galaxy S20, your iPhone 12 Pro Max. Can they play really good games? Yeah, they probably could, but you're held back by one is the type of game that constantly releases on these mobile devices. Mario Run. Those are the type of games that we're getting from Nintendo, and not just from Nintendo, you're getting like Clash of Clans. These simple-minded, dumb games that very casual people play because they have 15 minutes on the subway or a 10 minute smoking break. While they're smoking, they're playing Clash of Clans. Now, does the cell phone have potential for more? Absolutely. And then we we move towards cloud gaming. Now that, that the Xbox cloud gaming is on cell phones, all of a sudden people are like, okay, Switch is dead because um, yeah, you know, the cell phone has, and look, I'm not talking shit. Like I, this is good. It's good that we're having this discussion. It's good that cloud gaming has come to cell phones. I'm not mad about that. I'm happy about that. As a consumer, as a gamer, that's good. But cloud gaming is different because you're tying in a service from Xbox, kind of like Stadia, that's provided to you via their servers and they're pushing that to your phone wirelessly, okay? And then you're speaking about a company that's making the hardware and the software as well and is not pushing it to you wirelessly. It's done natively from the console and that is whether you download the game off of the eShop or you buy the physical cartridge or you have a mix of both or sometime you buy the cartridge but you still have to download part of the game but that game is being pushed by the console natively right cloud gaming is what it is it's cloud gaming it's being pushed via your internet if you didn't have that internet connection you wouldn't be able to play i can slap breath of the wild in my switch and play it doesn't matter if i have wi-fi if i have internet or not i could be in the dead zone where i have no internet service and I could still play that game, but that's a different conversation. So when we're going to exclude the Xbox game stuff, because that's, that opens it to a whole nother kind of portion that we're not trying to touch today. We're just gonna talk about games that are for cell phones, made by cell phone companies, or by gaming companies that put their games, like Nintendo with Mario Run and things like that, on, the, uh, on that service, right? And you buy the app from the app store, and you play the game, kind of like Minecraft, right? It's in the App Store, it's in the Play Store, if you have iPhone or Android, and you download your game, you pay your $6.99 or whatever, and you have full Minecraft on your phone. Now, does it look better than the Minecraft on the Switch? Depends, right? Depends what type of phone you got, depends what type of screen you got. Um, is it better than the Minecraft on the Switch? Probably not. Uh, because of the controllers. Simple fact, even if the graphics are the same, I'm sorry, controllers are just better. That's the reason why people don't play Fortnite on cell phones. It just doesn't work. And look, I'll give you an example here. I have a couple of games here currently on the Switch right now. This game right here, The Witcher 3 Complete Edition. Can't play that on mobile. Zelda Link's Awakening. Can't play that on mobile. Skyward Sword HD on Switch. Can't play that on mobile. Breath of the Wild. Nope. A Mastro Chain. Nope. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. This whole pile I just showed you is a pile of, I would say, great titles for the Nintendo Switch. Millions have sold here. The top 10 games are probably in this pile. Some of them are top 10. Uh, this is probably one of their best selling games ever and will continue to be. And you can't play this 
on your cell phone. I'm sorry guys. Cell phone is just not gonna catch up to the Switch and it's not even catching up to the other two consoles, the PS5 and the Xbox. Try playing GTA 5 on your phone. You can't. Try playing Red Dead Redemption on your phone. You can't. Try playing this on your phone. Every console has this game. Great game, by the way. If you don't have it, if you have a Switch, you should pick this up. If you don't, or if you've played it somewhere else, then great. But if you've never played The Witcher 3, give it a shot. Trust me, it's a really good game. It's not about specs, guys. That's what you don't understand. It's not about that. It's 100% on the gameplay. Yes, specs do matter. At some point, if you look too shitty, people are not going to enjoy your game. Because it interferes with the gameplay. So now the gameplay is suffering. But if you have a game that looks decent... This game right here, this game, may be by the Switch. This game, may be by Nintendo Switch. There is no game in the App Store or the Play Store that will make me buy a phone. Doesn't matter. Look, this does not mean that I'm bashing mobile. There are good games on mobile. And if you enjoy them, great, dude. That's good. Enjoy them. Play them by all means. But you're not going to come into my comment section. You know what? You're not going to come into your comment section because this is a video for you. And just say that to other people. You can't. Mobile gaming will never be what this is. It never will. It's just not set up that way. And like I said, you can't bring cloud gaming into this because that involves a whole nother set of companies that are doing work. Like Xbox, they're pushing that. Microsoft is pushing that game via cloud gaming to your phone, which is not the same as what we're talking about. We're talking about consoles versus mobile. Switch versus mobile specifically. The Nintendo Switch in 2021 and into 2022, regardless of what happens from here until now, until then, is vastly superior in gameplay, in game selection, and even graphically. Fortnite on the Switch looks better than Fortnite on a cell phone. Now, don't get me wrong, you may not be the same in a couple of years, but by then, we'll have a new version of the Nintendo Switch, Switch 2 or whatever they're gonna call that. And then it'll be, a, this whole thing will be started again. Well, is that thing, you know. Why don't people ask, oh, is, my Samsung phone better looking graphically than PlayStation 5. Nobody ever says that or the Xbox. It's always against the Switch. Why? These phone, my phone is four, has a 4K screen on it and can play 4K content, much like the PS5 and the Xbox Series X and X, S and X. Nobody's saying that. But somehow the Switch is always the one that ends up going head to head. And I think just because it's a mobile handheld, it kind of brings that phone feel. You gotta hold it in your hand, play with it. But they have Joy Cons, they have real controllers. That that takes your 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 gameplay up a huge notch. And a lot of people say, well, yeah, just buy a controller that has a little attachment and you can play that game. You know, I've tried that. It's it's uh, it's like clunky, um, and some games just don't work with certain controllers. I tried using my Switch on Roblox, a simple, stupid game like Roblox. I was trying to hook up my son's uh, phone so that he could play Roblox using my Switch controller. It couldn't, it couldn't do it, it was stupid. So I ended up getting the Xbox One S's controller that I have here, and that actually paired with his phone, and he was able to use the phone with the game but I mean that's a that's a that's another hassle you, you kind of have to go through as well some phones just some controllers just won't work so right because each game dev is different they have to design for a million Android phones you know 10 iPhones and and a lot of that stuff gets just lost in the process where Nintendo is a game company exclusively focused on gaming content a cell phone does everything and yes, there are devs that concentrate on making games, obviously. 
but they also have to account for what the device can do and the threshold of each device and the usability of each device that's different. Because each company like Samsung, um, LG, which they kind of got out of the phone game, but um, Motorola, Pixel, they all have different overlays of, of Android on their phone. And that has to be accounted for when you're talking about playability and, and usability and controllability of a character in the game. So again, if you enjoy mobile game, that's great. This is not a bash fest, but in no way is that better than what the Nintendo Switch has to offer. Anyways, boys and girls, there's your part two. There's where I stand in 2021 and 2022 in case you gotta ask next year, you already know my answer. Yes, Nintendo Switch is still top dog and cell phone, it's not your time yet, buddy. Maybe in the future, not right now. As always, may the force be with you. You guys take care. With the, with the, with the, with the.